February 7th, and welcome to Kickstart Your Week. Hey everyone, this week is Hope Week at the Middle School, brought to you by your EMS Hope Squad. Hope Week is an exciting time in which the Hope Squad plans activities to help the whole student body learn about mental health and well-being. We also hope to spread kindness, kindness and positivity. This week, there will be morning announcements, dress-up days, messages of kindness around the school, as well as special delivery to your WIN classes on Friday. Have, Have a great, great week, week and make sure to participate, participate in dress-up dress up days. days. going to be a high of 28 and a low of 11. Tuesday is going to be a high of 42 and a low of 17. Wednesday is going to be a high of 40 and a low of 30. And Thursday is going to be a high of 34 and a low of 25. And then Friday is going to be a high of 37 and a low of 25. And have a great week! Bye! I'm Jackson. I'm Maya. And I'm Chappie. This week's word of the week is jubilant. Jubilant means feeling or expressing great happiness and triumph. And that's this week's word of the week. Bye! Hello! This is the National Days of the Week. This week we have two very special guests. Wow. Lucy and William from the Hope Squad. Squad. Alrighty, okay. Today, Monday, is National Periodic Table Day. Tomorrow, Tuesday, is National Iowa Day. Wednesday is Pizza Day. <laughs> Thursday is National Umbrella Day. And Friday is National Make a Friend Day. Have a great week and check the announcements for your Hope Week dress up days. Yeah! Hi, I'm Autumn. I'm Lacey. And I'm Sam. And this is this week's lunch. On Monday, we have popcorn chicken. On Tuesday, we have a cheese quesadilla. On Wednesday, it's hot ham and cheese. On Thursday, it's a hamburger. On Friday, it's French toast sticks. Bye! Bye. Hi, I'm Luke. I'm Jeff and we'll be introducing Hope Week. Monday is Pajama Day. Relaxation and sleep are good for your mental health. Tuesday is Crazy Hair Day. Express yourself in a non-judgment day. Wednesday is Future Day. Have hope for your future. On Thursday is Country versus Country Club. No matter where you are from, you're always welcome here. Friday is Squad Day with your wing group to show how you're never alone. Have a good week. Hi, welcome back to this week's jokes. I'm Jackie. I'm Lily. And I'm Brooke. What do lawyers wear when they go to court? I don't know. A lawsuit. Why was the cook arrested? I don't know. He was beating an egg. Why was the room light? Why? Because he overswept. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What's going on, Epic Gamers? I'm Adam, and welcome back to Five Facts. Today, I'll be talking about five facts about Roblox. Number one, the game was originally called Dynablox. Number two, you can make your own games in Roblox. Number three, almost one fourth of children in Britain play Roblox. Number four, there's a Roblox university where you can get taught how to make games and play games. And number five, Roblox has been out for over 15 years. That's it this week. Come back next week for five more fun facts. Welcome to this week's episode of Lab Rats. My name is Ashleen and this is Lily. Today we'll be experimenting with water fireworks. For this experiment you will need water, oil, food coloring, two clear glasses, and a fork for stirring. Remember, it's always good to have safety precautions. Wear safety goggles and make sure an adult knows it's okay. Fill a tall glass almost to the top with room temperature water. Pour two tablespoons of oil into the other glass. Right. 
add two drops of food coloring to the glass with oil. Stir the oil into the food coloring using a fork. Stop once you break the food coloring into small drops. Pour the oil and coloring mixture into the tall glass. Now watch. The food coloring will slowly sink into the glass. With each droplet, it might take a second to work. Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Taste Testing with T-Bone. Today, for the very first time in Tony's life, Tony is going to try oatmeal. Tony. Hold on, who's Tony? I'm T-Bone. T-Bone. Better. I'm not trying to eat the whole thing. Oh. Not that bad. Not that bad. I'd give it a... Scale of 1 to 10. I'd give it a 9. A 9! For the oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Even though it kind of looks gross. Oh, really? Tony likes the oatmeal. Alright, well, that's all we have this week for Taste Testing with T-Bone, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.